What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So I got a tip for you guys. If you're new to the hobby or you've been in it and you didn't know about this, here's a little trick. Anyway, this is what I found this on another YouTube site and I thought it was really good. It's very helpful and it didn't take very long to remove the chrome off the tires or off these uh, wheels. So anyway, I'll just kind of give you an FYI on it. Anyhow, make sure you wear some safety glasses so you don't get anything splashed in your face. I got a little plastic bowl that's over there. And also when you're trying to remove the the chrome what's underneath it so in this case here this tire is white the plastic is and so that wouldn't look so good I wouldn't do that one but I want to let you guys know these aren't the stock tires that came on it but they do they were chrome as well and I didn't like them either so I don't like these because they are chrome so let me show you what it looks like after after super clean this it takes about 10 minutes or so it's like a whole different beast now so I like that way that it looks kind of it flows better and in my opinion, it just looks a little bit more premium as far as the RC car instead of those chrome wheels on it. It just doesn't look right. So anyway, um, when doing so, showing you that again, definitely sticks out more. I, I think it looks a lot better with the black wheels. Now, it takes about 10 minutes or so, roughly around there to start removing them. I will kind of, I'll show you kind of in between. I'll do it like I'll let it go for about five minutes, show you where it's at after five minutes, and then do it after 10 minutes and see where we're at with it. And if it needs to be soaked any longer than that. But anyway, I've done a couple tires already, so I kind of have a good idea how long it's gonna take. So let's get started. All right, so the first step, what I did was I went ahead, anyway, uh, the cost of the super clean is about five bucks. I got it at Walmart, anyhow. And just to, you know, I just went ahead and kind of prepped my wheel, meaning that I just washed it, cleaned it up a little bit. That way, when I go to, you know, soak this thing in the super clean, it's not just taking the dirt and grime off first and then getting to the chrome. That way we already have a nice, pretty much a clean surface to work with. So like I said, I'll go ahead and let this soak if it does start to float a little bit. Uh, also, if you do have holes in your wheels, meaning that, you know, it can vent, then you wanna go ahead and seal those up as well. Or All right, so let's get started now, just for mine, because it does float just a little bit. I'll just go ahead and put the bottle on top and then we're good to go. And I'll, like I said, I'll let it soak for about five minutes. Then I'll just return, show you guys what it looks like and then I'll do it again for another 10 minutes. All right. All right, so it's been five minutes. Take that off, how it looks. Very slimy. So yeah, okay, just gonna let it go for another five minutes here. So this wheel took about 15 minutes. Now, obviously I keep using this stuff over and over again. It's gonna keep getting longer and longer until you just have to throw this, uh, you know, this liquid away, super clean. But, uh, you know, about 15 minutes is all it took. Not a big deal. If you had something bigger, if you went with the bigger size, you could do a lot more in a faster time. But anyway, yeah, 15 minutes. Uh, first, the other ones were about 10 minutes, something like around there. So five minutes more, that's not a big deal. And I just have one more tire to do anyway. I think an end result looks a heck of a lot better than the chrome. You guys can let me know on that one, but I think the black, it just flows better than the chrome that's on there. There's no chrome elsewhere on it, and it just makes it look a little bit less expensive with the chrome wheels. Anyways, if you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing. Also check out our website, omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. Thank you for watching.